so thank you very much for selecting me to speak. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here and tell you about my work on uh, uh, demethylation of um, intragenic CPG islands. Uh, so, majority of the mammalian genome is methylated, with exception of CPG-rich regions called CPG islands that are more often unmethylated. CPG islands can be located at promoters within genes or between them, and their DNA methylation status depends on the DNA sequence content and chromosomal context. The promoter CPG islands are more often unmethylated, regardless of the gene expression, while the gene body CPG islands are more often methylated. And aberrant methylation of CPG islands is linked with many human diseases. But despite that, the mechanism that governs CPG islands methylation is not fully understood. So um, our lab works on regulation of um, erythroid-specific alpha globin genes that are associated with uh, promoter CPG islands, and those CPG islands are unmethylated regardless of their uh, gene expression. And reduced level of alpha globin genes cause a blood disorder called alpha thalassemia. So um, we have reported a rare case of inherited form of alpha thalassemia caused by aberrant methylation of the promoter CPG island of the alpha globin gene. So in this patient, there is a large deletion that juxtaposed the intact alpha globin 2 gene to a downstream truncated LUC7L gene. And in this context, the alpha globin 2 gene becomes an intragenic part of the LUC7L gene, resulting in antisense transcription running through its sequence um, and uh, leading to the normally unmethylated CPG ion methylation and gene silencing. And this is associated with loss of hgk 4 me 3 and gain of hgk 36 me 3 a mark of active transcription that has been shown by Dirk Schubler to recruit DNA methylotransferase 3B, suggesting a potential mechanism for this aberrant, um, for this um, um, yeah, rare case of alpha thalassemia. So we have confirmed those observations in a mouse ES cells uh, model of this disease that uh, faithfully recapitulates the alpha globin 2 gene silencing upon differentiation. Using this model, we have shown that um, a loss of hgk 4 me 3 and an increase in hgk 36 me 3 level correlates with the methylation of the normally unmethylated promoter CPG island that uh, the read-through transcription is required for this process, that DNA methylotransferase 3B is responsible for the methylation of the CPG island, and also that transcription mediated um, the position of hvk 36 me 3 and also loss of hvk 4 me 3 uh, is uh, preceding the recruitment of DNA methylotransferase to the tested region. We also wanted to know whether this mechanism is uh, alpha globin specific, and that's why we tested three additional human genes associated with promoter CPG islands. And the read through transcription through their sequence caused loss of hgk 4 me 3 and gain of hgk 36 me 3 and de novo methylation for the tissue specific MyoD and also ubiquitinously express UBC uh, promoter CPG islands. However, the actin B CPG island remained free of methylation and was not sensitive to this transcription mediated silencing. And I wanted to point out that actin B is the most highly expressed of all of the genes tested. Um, and I will come back to this case later on. Uh, so next, we wanted to know whether this mechanism is responsible for the methylation of normally occurring intragenic CPG islands. Uh, and for that, we investigated uh, the intragenic CPG island of rhombogene. So this gene has two CPG islands, a promoter CPG island that is always unmethylated regardless of the gene expression, and a gene body CPG island that is unmethylated in sperm when the gene is off, gets methylated in human ES cells when the gene is turned on, and stays methylated in somatic cells. 
So to investigate whether the read-through transcription is responsible for the methylation of this intragenic CPG <coughs> island, we integrated its sequence in the context of the gene with the promoter and with how the promoter into a single genomic location using RMC uh, system in mouse ES cells. The DNA methylation analysis uh, has shown that this intragenic CPG island in the context of the gene with the promoter gets heavily methylated upon differentiation. And this is in contrast to uh, this intragenic CPG island in the context of the gene with how the promoter, as it remains unmethylated. We also uh, shown that um, this is correlated with uh, increase in rhombogene expression upon differentiation and also increase in the HTK36 ME3 level through how the gene body sequence. So next, we wanted to know whether this is a more general phenomenon responsible for the methylation of intragenic CPG islands. And our uh, genome-wide analysis um, of intragenic CPG island ranked here from heavily methylated to unmethylated, shown that indeed the hypermethylated um, CPG islands are HVK36 ME3 enriched, transcribed through, and they lack HVK4 ME3. So this brings us to our model. Uh, in mouse ES cells, uh, CPG islands that are within the body of transcribed genes are free of uh, methylation and are HVK4 um, ME3 enriched, uh, despite of the low level of HVK36 ME3. But upon differentiation, we observe a loss of HVK4 ME3 and a further increase in HVK36 ME3 that may be a result uh, of a higher transcription of the gene. And the uh, HVK36 ME3 acts here as a docking site for a DNA methylotransferase 3B, resulting in de novo methylation of the intragenic CPG island. However, I have mentioned that acting B promoter CPG island is refractory to this transcription mediated silencing when we place it experimentally in our mouse ESL system. So we wanted to know what determines that um, a transcribed CPG island stays free of methylation or gets methylated. And um, as I said, that acting B promoter CPG island was the most highly expressed of all of the gene tested. And that's why we were thinking that maybe the, um, the ratio between LUC7L expression and, uh, and acting B expression may play a role. And for that, uh, we wanted to ask whether normally occurring uh, promoter CPG islands that are strongly active are also refractory to this uh, transcription-mediated mechanism. So for that, we identified um, a pair of uh, promoter and alternative promoter CPG islands of uh, different isoforms of the same gene. <coughs> And uh, we uh, measure the transcription activity uh, based on the POL2 binding. We um, rank those CPG islands from, um, uh, based on the difference in POL2 binding between upstream and alternative promoter CPG island. And as expected, the upstream promoter CPG islands were unmethylated and free of HEK36 ME3. Uh, regardless of, of the gene expression, while the alternative promoter CPG islands were more likely to be methylated, HVK36 ME3 enriched and free of HVK4 ME3 when the pole 2 level was higher at the upstream promoter. And as for the acting B, the alternative promoter CPG islands with a higher pole 2 binding than the upstream promoter were uh, more likely to be unmethylated free of HVK36 ME3 and HVK4 ME3 enriched, suggesting that the activity of the alternative promoter may be influenced by the activity of the upstream promoter. So this brings us back to our model. Uh, so transcriptionally active intragenic CPG islands are refractory to transcription-mediated uh, silencing. They are HVK4 ME3 enriched and uh, free of methylation and transcriptionally active. 
So now I would like to thank to my supervisor, Doug Hicks, and our collaborator, Christina Tufarelli, as well as to all of the other people that contributed to this work. And also, last but not least, I would like to express my gratitude to all of the Doug Hicks uh, lab members. And before I finish, I would also like to spark more discussions. So I also work um, on another project which aims to visualize the endogenous transcription of alpha globin gene in living cells over time. And I will be happy to chat about that also later on. Thank you.